when English Heritage approached my trust about the imminent closure of this world-famous company and the seemingly inevitable breakup of its workforce, the loss of traditional skills, perhaps you can imagine I was determined that this could not be allowed to happen. You can imagine that after a hundred years of continuous production on site, the buildings were beginning to show their age. This is why in 2011, the Princess Regeneration Trust stepped in to purchase the site whilst maintaining the production of Burleyware. As well as restoring historic buildings, our regeneration projects transformed lives, providing jobs, training and other opportunities. Chris, for example, was one of several construction apprentices given a life-changing training opportunity during the restoration work made a big difference for me because, like I say, I was on job seekers before. If it weren't for the Prince's Regeneration Trust, then I wouldn't have got the job, which I'm still at now. Visitor Centre volunteer Chris Morris says he's been given a new lease of life by the Pottery's revival, having come out of work through ill health. He is one of the 45 volunteer places we have created since we bought the Pottery. When I realised that maybe I wouldn't be able to work again, I felt unplugged from, from the old situation. This building's been regenerated and, and I feel a bit like Doctor Who actually. I, I feel a bit like regenerated because there, uh, there is something else that I can do. When I came here I'd realised this building had, had moulded my life. Since it was restored, the Pottery has won eight awards, including a prestigious Europa Nostra Award, Europe's top heritage prize. In June 2014, His Royal Highness the Prince of Wales officially opened the restored pottery, which now welcomes visitors from across the world. There are thousands of, of, of buildings and communities in need, communities which are socially and economically deprived, struggling with the blights of poverty, unemployment, and a loss of pride in their local neighbourhood. And a great many of these communities contain buildings of local, if not national, importance. And I'm convinced that with a little imagination, these well-constructed old buildings could very easily be transformed and given new uses, which then act as a powerful catalyst for social regeneration within communities. Welcome to the Wedgwood Institute. Built between 1863 and 1869, just a stone's throw from Middleport Pottery. This is another wonderful example of Stoke's rich ceramics heritage and British industrial history. This Grade II star listed building is a local landmark to the people of Burslem, the mother town of Stoke-on-Trent, otherwise known as the Potteries. The institute was named after 18th century Stoke potter Josiah Wedgwood, a man who played a key role in the industrialisation of England's pottery industry. Wedgwood was born in Burslem and his first pottery was on the site of this building. The important Burslem manufacturers of the Victorian age decided that they would commemorate the life of Josiah Wedgwood by building an institution that would celebrate art, craft, ceramics, and the expansion of learning. This building really is a people's palace, built for local people, by local people, here, the local workers would come to learn business, art and science. Quite some famous people taught here and came from here. One of the early pupils, of course, was Arnold Bennett, famous for his Five Towns novels. It started to become quite popular. Manufacturers were sending their artists and employees to learn here in school. However, the space became unsuitable and was abandoned in 1993. The last tenant, a council-run library, closed its doors in 2007. Since then, things had declined. The buildings, walls and ceilings had all decayed. So bad were things that the building was actually put on an at-risk register, one of the top ten buildings at risk in the West Midlands. The Institute has a highly decorative terracotta facade featuring mosaics and sculptures, including a full-size statue of Wedgwood above the main entrance. The exterior also features 10 bas-relief terracotta panels which depict the pottery manufacturing process. It was in a really bad condition that may have led, ultimately, for demolition. It would have been a tragedy to have lost the Wedgwood Institute. Princess Regeneration Trust, like I did, fell in love with it. They are the people now determined to restore it to its original beauty and glory.
The Prince's Regeneration Trust are world leaders in the renovation and restoration of buildings, especially those that are in areas of economic and social deprivation. Here at the Wedgwood Institute, we have an amazing opportunity. We see the regeneration of this building as a springboard, a springboard for the wider economic regeneration of Burslem, a town that's had more than its fair share of deprivation. Seven months of building work began in February of 2015, and we've already spent $1.3 million, but that's meant we've opened up the ground floor to community use and to temporary office space. Urgent repairs have been carried out to weatherproof the Institute's roof and protect the most fragile elements of its terracotta facade, including the mosaic roundels showing the signs of the zodiac. Workmen have also installed new roof insulation and lighting, cleaned the gutters, and put in new measures to stop water and pigeons getting inside the building. Inside the Institute, we've made the ground floor usable once more, and we're now looking for potential new tenants. However, we want to go much further. Ultimately, we want to restore all of this amazing building and bring these magnificent first floor rooms back to life. The aim of the first phase works has been to safeguard the structure while a funding package is put together for the second, more extensive phase of the project. Once restored, we believe there's space for 20 to 25 new businesses, and that's 150 vitally needed new jobs. There's also room for business training, meetings, and community facilities. To achieve this, we need funding. Funding to complete the renovation of the buildings, and that's going to cost in the region of $10.5 million. In a town that has lost much of its manufacturing base, there is growth. A building like the Wedgwood Institute is so critical for the continuing development of Burslem. So many people gave their lives and their skills and their dedication to build these wonderful places that give our towns like Burslem, or towns in all the potteries, towns all over the United Kingdom, a sense of identity and a sense of real belonging. Subject to funding, we hope to re-begin the second phase of the restoration in the spring of 2017 and by the following winter reopen the doors as an amazing centre of enterprise and learning.